How do computers store information? Computers store information in the form of binary language. Let's see what exactly binary language is and how it's used. English language contains 26 letters and different combinations of these letters create different words and different meanings. But binary language contains not 26 letters but just two values namely 1 and 0. And different combinations of 1s and zeros create different meanings that the computer can understand. As a simple example, if 111 means letter A, 110 means letter N and 100 means letter D, then the computer will store the English word and in the form of 111, 110, 100. And binary language can store not just words but all kinds of information including pictures, music and movies. For example, 110011 might tell computer to show blue color at a particular place on computer screen when you view a picture on computer and 110101 might tell the computer to emit a particular sound at a particular time from speakers when you listen to a song. Binary language can be written in many different ways on computer hardware. For example, to write information on a CD. A laser inside computer burns the surface of CD at certain places and creates pits at those places. Now there are two types of feature on CD. The pits created by laser and normal surfaces where laser was not applied. Now to read this CD, the computer will rotate it and analyze its surface. During rotation, when the surface changes from normal to pit or pit to normal in a fixed time, the computer will read it as a zero. And when the surface remains either normal or pitted during that time, then the computer will read it as one. Which combination of ones and zeros has what meaning has been decided by ASCII, American Standard Code for Information Interchange. And it's called ASCII code. All computers that we use in daily life, from smartphones to laptops to desktops to internet service, as well as storage devices like CDs and pen drives use this binary language to store information and communicate with each other.